What's going on people and welcome to Premier League Predictions Game Week 34. Lots of games this week um, and also before I get into it, 2,000 subscribers by the 1st of June is the target. So come and join me on the journey and support the journey and the road to 2,000 by the 1st of June. Also as well before I get started, it's been announced today officially that Eric Ten Hag is taking over as Manchester United manager. And there's a lot of people getting excited about it. He's a very modernistic manager, he likes to go forward with his football, possession based. I am happy that we got him over Pochettino and other people that were, were supposed to be in the running for it. But I just think as long as these owners and these Glazers and the board members are in place that we have currently involved behind the scenes, I don't think it's going to matter which manager we have because they are not allowed to do what they want to do and, and get the players in they want to get and get the scouting that they want to get. Do you know what I mean? It's been going on for years. And I think as long as them owners and people on the, in board positions are there and don't change, it doesn't matter what manager we get. So while I'm kind of happy we've got a new manager, it doesn't really mean a lot to me because I feel like they're not going to be allowed to do what other clubs are allowed when, when their managers come in. So... I just wanted to put it out there because that has been officially announced today. Eric Tan Hag is the new Manchester United manager. We will wait and see how it goes. I would like to see better football at least, even if it means we still don't win stuff. But I just think as long as you're not allowed to bring in the players you want to go after and get, I don't really care if the football's better because we're still in a position where we're restricted and it's like a prison so we'll have to wait and see what goes on with that but he is the new Manchester United manager. Game week 34 Premier League predictions first up there is actually a game tonight but this is from last week's game week and it's the last one of last week's game week which is Burnley versus Southampton and that is at 7.45 tonight on Sky if, you, if you're interested um, and then going into Saturday's games first up at half 12 we've got a big one and it's Arsenal versus Manchester United I watched Chelsea versus Arsenal yesterday and I was very surprised at how good Arsenal were. They have shown glimpses of it through the season and have improved a lot this season. But they are on a bad dip of form, as of Chelsea have been. But you can't tell me that Chelsea weren't favourites going into that game yesterday, despite both teams going through a bad dip of form at the moment. Um, but I was surprised at how well Arsenal were up for it and, and they deserve to win the game, in my opinion. Very good game um, and fair play to Arteta because he's getting a lot of haters, um, but he's doing a great job there, even though they're going through a tough patch of form, um, as is, is Thomas Tuchel as well. But I do think Chelsea were the favourites yesterday and it didn't go to plan, um, but it was a great game of football nonetheless. So Arsenal-Manchester United, half 12 Saturday. Previously last week, I felt like we would get we got more chance of getting a result in this game than the um, the Liverpool game. But now I just feel like after that win Arsenal got against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, they're going to be even more confident coming into this game against us. And they're at home. So previously I thought we could maybe nick a, a three points in this game or grab a draw. But now I just think that their, their confidence is going to be sky high. They're in better form than us. I just think that they're going to have too much for us, to be honest. And it's hard to say it, but I, I see Arsenal winning. Um, I'm going to go 2-0 Arsenal. Going into the 3 o'clock kickoffs, we've got Leicester versus Aston Villa. I'm going to go 2-0 Leicester. I think Villa are struggling a lot, unfortunately for Gerrard, who I like. But they are struggling at the moment. I think it's just a chemistry thing at the moment with them. They need to get used to each other more. And I think it will turn around. Um, Leicester, though... I think they're starting to pick it up a bit recently and I, I see them at home in this one as well. I think that they will have enough to get through that and I'm going to go 2-0. Norwich versus Newcastle. Um, I've actually gone for an away win for Newcastle. Picked up another win uh, yesterday again. Um, just They're winning a lot more games that previously they were losing or drawing and that's a massive difference. Almiron with the goal yesterday for them and it was a quality goal as well and they're just really playing for each other and, and Eddie Howe there and, and they haven't even invested that much money yet really when we know how much money they have like it's going to be very interesting to see them next season when they've got a whole season ahead of them to start fresh and get more players in on building on top of the squad they've already got that are getting results already and turning it around already so it's going to be very interesting with Newcastle next year to see where they're going to be finishing I personally think they're going to be challenging for either Conference Europa or Europa League positions so we'll have to wait and see for that next season but I'm very intrigued with how their journey is going to go next year I'm going to go with a Newcastle away win I'm going to go 2-0 Man City versus Watford 
Routine win for City. They had a routine win yesterday against Brighton, who were on good form away from home. Coming into that away again, and they lost 3-0, and it looked routine for City. Um, even if they rest players, I see them winning this comfortably. I'm going to go 4-0 Man City. Brentford versus Tottenham, half five Saturday. I've actually gone for Brentford to nick it 2-1. Um, they're at home. Tottenham... They're, they're a bit inconsistent at times. Um, definitely got the best attack in the league at the moment, in my opinion, of the front three other than Liverpool. But I think over recent months, Tottenham have been ahead of Liverpool, to be honest, in the attacking third. Um, but I think how Brentford are going at the moment, they've got confidence too. And I think the crowd behind them at home, I see them making it very difficult for Tottenham. Um, won't allow them a lot of space. And I think they get very physical with them. And I think it'll get into the Tottenham players' heads. So I think Brentford will... Nick a win in that one. I'm going to go 2-1. Going into Sunday's games, we've got Chelsea-West Ham. Very exciting game, I think. I think it'll be a really good game. I'm going to actually go for a draw in that one. I'm going to go 2-2. Lots of goals. Um, Chelsea are going to look to exact revenge on West Ham, who beat them previously earlier in the season. With that freak goal by Masawaku. Um, that was probably a cross, but ended up going in. Um, but I'm going to go 2-0 in that one. Burnley-Wolves. Um, I'm going to go 2-1 Wolves away from home. I think that they got a bit more attacking threat than Burnley. So I'm going to edge Wolves on that one, 2-1. Brighton versus Southampton. I've gone 1-0 Southampton, but I think this could be a very good game as well in terms of just attacking football. They both play open football. Um, it should be a good game. I'm going to edge it to Southampton, 1-0. Liverpool versus Everton, Merseyside Derby. Unfortunately, I don't see it being a hard game for Liverpool like it has been in previous years. But you never know in a derby. It, like Football's great for that. So it could be a tight one. And look, if Everton could win, it'd be great Like for Lampard and just, just football in itself because it's just unpredictable. But I think Liverpool are too strong right now. And I think being at Anfield, I just think they're going to have too much for Everton. Um, and I think Everton, I don't even think they get a goal. So I'm actually going to go 4-0 Liverpool. Going into Monday, we've got Crystal Palace versus Leeds at an 8 o'clock kickoff. I'm going to go 3-1 Palace. Um, it's quite a hard one to predict this. I think Leeds are very hard to predict week in, week out. One week they'll turn up and, and, and ship about four goals and next week they might score four and win 4-0. Four so they're hard to predict um, and I think Palace at home can be very tricky and strong. Um, and I think I could see Zaha getting a couple in that maybe. So I'm going to go 3-1 though to Palace. And then lastly for this week, guys, game week 34 on Thursday, we've got Manchester United against Chelsea. And another big game, 7.45 kickoff. I don't fancy us for this one either, to be honest. Even though we're at Old Trafford, um, we maybe could get a draw. I don't think we'll win. We, we possibly could on the form, but we're not in form either. So, uh, look, I... <laughs> Hopefully we can get something out of the game, but I just think Chelsea have a better squad. They've got better players, and I think they 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 just understand each other better. Um, and I think we've got a lot of problems so far at this club this season more than we ever have. And I think that Chelsea are going to be hungry. Tuchel looked angry and disappointed last night, understandably, um, in the the post match interview. And I think they're going to come for us. They're going to be at it because they're going to be pissed off. They're going to be angry and they're, they're going to want to bounce back. And we need to get that in our players, but I just don't see it with our players. So I do see Chelsea winning. Um, I've edged it 2-1 to Chelsea. I hope we can get something from that game. But that is it for this week's predictions, guys. Let me know yours in the comments and who your team has and how you fancy their chances. Remember, guys, to subscribe to the channel. 2,000 subscribers by the 1st of June. I can only do it with your support. Come and join me on the road to 2,000. And tomorrow I'll be putting out my starting 11 for the game against Arsenal. Uh, so look out for that dropping tomorrow. And I'll speak to you guys then.